Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. <laughs> An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task, only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Hello everybody, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and this is Assassin's Creed Episode 3. So in the previous videos, number one, we saw the intro, we learned that Desmond has been captured by these creepy scientist guys, and he's been put into something they call the Animus, which allows them to relive genetic memories, to view them as, like, a video game. Hmm. It's almost a fourth wall break. Anyway, so he's been captured, we went through the tutorial in video number two, just in case you care to see that, you missed it. Now we have our first glimpse at Altair, the assassin that we will be playing as for the rest of the game. So, here we go. We are currently in the Temple of Solomon, seeking something important. <laughs> Whoops. Apparently you need a little tiny bit of room there. You can't just kind of, you know, walk off a cliff. Alright, so this is actually going to be our first blood of the game. There! That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming! I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Saab. His life is mine. No! We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. All right, so... Seems like Altair's a bit of an ass, honestly. Kinda cocky, doesn't really respect the Assassin's Creed at this point. Uh, one thing I want to point out, whenever you see like the uh, chemical compound type stuff crossing the screen, um, you want to press a button, any button. I don't, I don't think it actually matters, but what that does is it puts it in almost a cinematic mode. It allows you to um, focus. So we focused in on the Ark of the Covenant just a minute ago, and then we also focused in on Robert de Sable as he walked into the room using the um, glitches, it's called. So we're going to go down there and see what's up. Templars, 
You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Blood. You know not the things in which you meddle, assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Men! To arms! Kill the assassins! Oh boy. Okay, so this doesn't sound good. It sounds like we have lost our two unnamed friends there. Uh, well, I, I guess the only thing we can do now is head back to Masayef and uh, warn our mentor, Al Mualim. So this right here is the first... Uh, instance of free running throughout the game. There's all sorts of random stuff and we can climb on it and jump to it so basically you move yourself into high profile mode using the trigger button and then we can just kinda run and jump and uh, you run, you point in a direction and then Altair will kinda do whatever he wants. I'll, you'll see this throughout the game. I tell Altair to jump or to climb and he kind of does his own thing. So we're gonna <laughs> climb up here and this time I'm going to try and climb across the pillar here. Yeah, we did it this time. And then we can climb up the wall and up this wall and up this wall. And then Anything that's got a textured surface in the game can be climbed. You'll see all sorts of random stuff sticking out, slits in the windows. You know, it's a big part of the game. When we get further into it, you'll start to see viewpoints, which are, you know, the mandatory map revealing points in the game. All Ubisoft games have them. They try to make climbing puzzles out of them to at least make it a little bit more interesting. Skipping part of memory to a more recent one. Altair, you've returned! Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. All right, so this is the fabled city of Masayef, home of the assassins. You'll see it a couple times, because <laughs> you have to return here in between every single assassination contract. We are currently heading up there to the castle. Oops, I bumped into someone. Now, if this were any other town, um, the guards would potentially come after me for that. So, here you can kind of do whatever you want because you're Altair. But, everyone, everywhere, excuse me, else, you have to be careful. Because you can wind up in a fight and then pretty soon there's a million guards. This game is quite nice looking for 2007, if you really think about it. Ah, he returns at last. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. 
Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. <laughs> so it would seem that Altair isn't as well respective as you might think. Being the top assassin in this place. The master waits within. Altair, Master, come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the roof. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack! Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. All right, guys, so here is our first taste of combat. Nice little tutorial-type section. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. All right. Ah, here's what I was saying about the uh, quick select for your weapons. Shows all of our different weapons available in the game. There's only a couple in this one. They expand upon that in later games. So I'm going to select the sword, but then go to my uh, short blade, because that's my favorite of the weapons. I like the uh, nice, uh, speedy attack. Alright, so... Oh shoot, that's right. I'm sorry, I'm used to the other ones. This game's different. So, you hold the high-profile button 
and you can just deflect attacks. If you press X as the attack is incoming, you can counter. Like that. Oops. These guys are nice and easy. They don't have any special abilities. Alright, move on to the next group. Oh. I tried very hard to s assassinate him with a hidden blade, but it didn't quite work. Now, when you have the short blade out, you have a secondary attack. You can throw knives uh, when you're far enough away from opponents. That's very useful because knives are pretty much an instant kill. Now, if you attack a second time, just as your first attack is about to land, you can actually do a combo that will usually kill most of your enemies, or at least your lower level ones. So, like this. Or not. I tried. I need to get in the habit of it. It's difficult until you remember the timing. Alright, so we've been driven back. We now have to defend the castle. Atayer, come. Al Mualim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We've a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. You have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good! Then they shall have it all around! Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! Hm. I, ah, oh, oh, my leg! Ah, oh, my leg! Quiet, but the Templars will hear us. Ah. Mm. 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 Ooh, that sounded good. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The rope's there. Continue to attract the scent. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. Alright, so we are going to take care of these 
Crusaders once and for all. So that was your first glimpse at the Leap of Faith mechanic. Basically from any type of high ledge uh, you'll see some sort of um, bird nest type thing, usually. Anytime you have that on the edge of something and there's some sort of soft area on the ground, you can jump. And it's very handy for getting down from high places, or hiding, or getting a better position when you're about to assassinate someone. So, here's what I was talking about earlier with the climbing puzzles. Have to find the best way to get up here. Do some um, unrealistic jumps. That sort of thing. You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue. Unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. Oh, shit. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. All right, guys, so we're going to end it here because this is kind of a long video. I think that I should be keeping him around 15 minutes, give or take. Uh, so we have seen the fall of Altair, and um, we're going to do a little bit of stuff around this place. <laughs> so this has been Zira, 
in the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.